Hi everybody and welcome to Spangly Nails YouTube. My name is Nicole and in today's video we are going to be doing the four nail art tutorials that go with the Is Beauty of London Festival Fever collection. I have already done a separate video on a live swatch and review on these four polishes so if you missed that I will pop it up in the top right hand corner or leave a link in the description below or a link at the end of this video so you can definitely catch up if you haven't seen it. These polishes are cream, bright polishes, they retail for £6 each on the Is Beauty of London website and without further ado I'm just going to jump into the first tutorial. So the first design features Glastonbury which is the deep orchard purple shade and I'm starting off with a gradient that goes from this purple through to pink through to orange so I'm going to need some liquid latex to protect my nails or my finger I should say. Anyway when I filmed this I didn't have sold out because if you've watched my other video you will know that I had to wait for that because the company didn't have any at the time I got my PR package so I just used another orange from my collection but for the purposes of this video it should be Glass and berry, main stage, sold out. <laughs> anyway, you want to apply that to your sponge, dab it on your nail and remove the liquid latex. And alas, no cleanup required. It's like magic. I'm just going to add a quick layer of top coat because that helps blend the colours together and it creates a surface for me to work on so that if I make a mistake and I have to use a wee bit of acetone it won't take off the colour, it'll just take off a wee bit of the top coat. Anyway, I'm just adding a large C shape to the right hand side of my nails to start off the ferris wheel and then I'm making a V from the middle of that down the way to the tip of my nail and then adding more lines so it looks like a big pizza and then adding wee dots on the inside and on the outside of the C, the original C shape. I'm just going in with my paintbrush and adding a wee bit of ground and I thought that it looked a bit sparse on the left hand side so I added a wee palm tree. Oh, wee palm tree! Finally I'm adding a final layer of fast drying top coat and that is the first design done. The next design features main stage which is the hot raspberry pink shade and this particular design um, features a lot of freehand nail artwork so if you are not into that I'm going to leave a wee timestamp on the screen right now that you can fast forward to to skip to the next design. Anyway, I'm starting off by making two C shapes at the bottom of my nail and then two sort of S shapes going up towards the cuticle and then I am just going back in and refining them and filling in or joining up the two C shapes at the bottom I should say. Next I'm going in with my pink shade which is main stage, it's the darkest shade that I'm going to use so I'm popping that at the bottom and working it up towards my cuticle. I will show you in a wee second how I go about blending the two colours together. It's a wee trick that I use when I'm doing something like this. So I'm taking the lighter pink shade which is Lily Romance from the Is Beauty of London Blooming Beautiful collection and I'm sort of overlapping that with the darker pink and again keep moving it up towards my cuticle till the t to the tip of the glass. I'm going back in with a thicker nail art brush and this is my wee trick. It is dipped ever so slightly in acetone and I'm just rubbing the two polishes together so that they blend. That is the trick. That is it. <laughs> it's not even that special but I just feel like it, it amalgamates the two colours together really well. I don't know. Try it out. Let me know what you think. As I've been blabbering away here I've added a wee kiwi on the side of the glass with green polish. I'm adding some glitter at the top to act as ice cubes and a wee straw and it looks good enough to drink. Maybe. <laughs> Finally, I'm adding a layer of fast drying top coat and that is design number two. The third design features Dancing in the Rain which is the vibrant summery blue shade and even though it may be vibrant and it may be summery it's called Dancing in the Rain so I had to do an umbrella. That's my logic. Um, that's my logic and I'm going with it. So I have started off with a layer of grey polish and I'm adding a layer of, of top coat at this juncture because I'm going to mattify this nail. So I am making a V shape from the top of my nail down 
outlining my cuticle and then joining all three up with upside down C shapes and then I am filling it in. I'm using main stage to fill in the middle part and then I'm popping dancing in the rain at the left and the right hand side. And the next part is to go back in and re-outline everything because I don't know about you but I actually can't colour within the lines to save my life so once I've re-outlined everything I'm going to make the handle for the brolly which is just a J, a J for jump. It's as easy as that. Next I'm going to add a layer of matte top coat and I have fast forwarded the mattifying process for you before I move on to the next stage which is grabbing my fast drying top coat or a clear nail varnish if you like and I'm using my dotting tool to add little drops of that all over the design and this makes it look like rain. And this is a regular thing that I see in Scotland. <laughs> anyway, that is design number three. The fourth and final design features sold out which is a tangy tangerine orange shade and we're going to be doing a vertical gradient or a diagonal gradient I should say so we're going straight back in with that liquid latex all round about our finger. And the colours I am using for this are a yellow from my collection, sold out, main stage and Glastonbury. So I actually think that this shows just how versatile this collection actually is. Anyway, I am popping all the colours onto my good old makeup sponge and I am dabbing that right onto my nail. Once you are happy with the opacity or the opacity, I actually don't know which is the correct way to say that. Anyway, remove your liquid latex and add a layer of fast drying top coat for the same reasons as before. Now, when I was filming this tutorial, my camera decided to cut off, so you may notice a difference in design or a difference in the length of my nails, but it's the same thing. Anyway, I'm adding a white box into the centre of my nail, and then I'm adding a white circle into the centre of that box, and then a wee white dot in the top right of the box. I'm adding a la another layer of Fast Drying Top Coat, and that is the fourth and final design, and as you probably guessed it, that is the Instagram logo, or the current one anyway. And that concludes the, the nail art designs. Anyway, go ahead and let me know in the comments below which one was your favourite. I tried to make them all things that you would see or do at a festival. You've got your cocktail or your mocktail, you've got a wee ferris wheel, you've got rain, and of course you've got Instagram, because I imagine you would put pictures from a festival on Instagram. <laughs> well, I would anyway if I was that one. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the wee bell so you will be notified any time I upload. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I will see you guys all next time, whenever that may be. Bye!